Hi, it's Cindy with the Port Huron Recreation Department. Today we're going to make some holiday ornaments out of clothespins. Here we go. Okay, today I've got some clothespins here. We're going to try to make something that'll be derived from this setup. And I've got a few clothespins here, different sizes. Um, this one's an older one. And uh, you know how they say they don't make things like they used to. Um, I don't know if they still sell these. These are about, uh, each square here on my mat is three inches. So it's about three and a quarter inches, maybe three and a, uh, three and three eighths. And then I've got some of these, which are a little, right about just under three inches. Um, I've got this guy. He's about just under two inches. And then this little guy, about one inch. Um, these came pre-stained already, so that was kind of cool. Um, I didn't have to do anything with it because I put a bunch together and it's already painted or stained. You notice that these are silver. We had these around the house and we used them from another for another project and they were left over so I figured I might as well multi-purpose them or repurpose them. Um, so that's why I have these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take these apart first. So you kind of twist one side away, the other side towards you, just like that. See how it come, pops right out? And then that will usually come right off the little, uh, little uh, spring. I'm going to save those for later. I don't know if I'll use them again, but Hey, when I save stuff, I end up using it at some point. Um, here's another one. And then see how that's right on there? It should just slide off. Just pull it. Like that. And I already did a few to save a little time. If you need to rewatch this, then you can rewind it and check it out again. So I've got them um, all pulled apart. These were not painted on the inside, of course, because they were closed like this. And I believe we spray painted them, so we didn't get much on the insides. The inside is the part that we're actually going to be looking at, which will be the outside. Like that. So... I used hot glue to glue these together. So just a little strip across the back, just one back and then get the other one. Get them lined up so that they're flat together on the tops and then the ends are pushed together, mostly down here. If they're uneven out here, that's, that's actually okay. So I'll go through and set up one without painting it. And then I'll take it from there and then we'll decorate it after after we put it put this one together we'll decorate this one i'm not going to paint today because it'll take a little extra time these are a little time consuming if you decide to take the glue off of the uh the seams sometimes it leaks out i didn't put a whole lot of glue in that one but sometimes i got a little crazy with the glue 
and then I ended up scraping it. You should see that one wasn't bad. Nothing seeping out. This one has a little bit. So basically you just can scrape it with your nail or something else like a, like a butter knife that it doesn't have the serrated edges. Something probably smooth. The end of a nail file maybe. Get a good grip on these so you don't burn yourself. And then just a line down the middle. Line them up. Squeeze them together. Make sure they're flat enough. Got to kind of work quick. I think this glue that I'm using is uh, it sets a little quicker. And I may need a refill here. You could take these apart and spray paint them ahead of time. I would probably start with them glued together. Be a little less paint that you'd have to use probably. Just like this. At this point, spray them. Or you could wait until the next step where I glue them all together on the mat here. So I'm going to make kind of a triangle with these. Like that. And try to get them even, the space in between. And then I'm just going to, well, I'll leave it open a little. I don't know, maybe. We'll try it. So I'm going to try to squeeze right in there. Put the little kickstand down. Just without touching the one that's not being held down. I'm kind of just squeezing. I'm trying to tap that in there into the little spot. While you've got time, kind of push them together so they stay. And hold them for a couple seconds so that glue can set. Not yet. <laughs> oh boy. Might be a little rubbery too. opening there. Okay, come on. Blowing on it so it might stick a little quicker. I don't want to touch the middle yet because I think it's still hot. So we're not ready for glue yet because that's still visible right there. Um, what we'll do next is we're going to attach these kind of like this. We kind of want to watch kind of want to have a line matched up. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's really going to be eyeballing and scrutinizing your ornament. <laughs> so that's kind of how it's going to be glued together. It'll be a little easier now to hold this down since this side is held down with the glue. So we'll shoot another little bit of glue in that hole. I'm sitting right on top of it. And I'm shooting it right in that hole. It may stick to the back here. Um, so just make sure that you have a surface that's easily clean, easy, easy to clean up. Um, maybe like a glass uh, plate, something that's kind of big. You know, those Corel oval dishes might work pretty good. Um, I would not say like paper under here because then the paper would stick to it for sure. Um, wood might work um but you'll probably pick up some of the grain and this guy's so what i'm going to do is i'll flip it over after this is set after we get all these in here okay sit 
putting on it, squeezing until I see it squirting out a little bit. That's kind of how I can tell. You might be able to see the glue moving there. I'll hold it together a little bit. Gotta watch out for that. I'm going to just kind of turn it a little. It is stuck to my mat. But twisting it helps it come off too. So there's a little bit on the mat and I just pick it off. And eventually I will actually clean this mat up, scrub it down and get that glue off of there. It's okay for now. It's not too bad. I'll hold this guy in place. And shoot some glue in there. So once this is all dried, you can actually start scraping off the bubble part. So if, if you want it to lay flat. If not, I mean... What I did is I planned on putting something like this over top of it anyway, so it wouldn't matter. You can put it on both sides if you want, and I'm only going to do the one side today. Pretty stuck together. A little uneven, but eh, that's all right. Hanging on a tree, you won't even be able to tell. So the glue that's not just coming out the bottom, the holes that you can't see the glue, like this one, we can see glue right there. It went all the way down. Right here, it went all the way down. But we're gonna fill these two holes one more time. I don't have to do each individually because it's being held together already. So that's basically it. If it seems to be loose on you, um, you can add a little glue on the insides here, inside of each crease. But that's generally what it looks like before it's painted. Pretend I painted that really quick. <laughs> so this is what it looks like once it's been painted. Get this glue out of the way. I'll slide this guy in here. Maybe it will start taking. So I want to decorate this a little bit. Um, I've got these three little gems. I've got a little one that I made out of the minis, uh, the mini little clothespins. These were not painted. Um, I just had a few of these laying around, so I was lucky to be able to use that and not cover up something that already had color. So for this, I'm going to just glue... You know what? Wait, I'm going to do this first. Got this. It's a uh, shaved. Looks like it's plastic, like plastic bags, but it's got some iridescence in it. So what I'm going to do is put a little glue on this little star part or snowflake. And then I'm going to dip it into this plastic stuff and see what it looks like. I'm going to put it on the outsides, just on like the arms, we'll say. Oops, I did get it on the inside. That's where I'm going to put the, um, the little gems. I think for this, kind of using a medium amount, enough to cover it 
so that when it does dry, it'll have, um, it'll be coated all the way. Um, get a paper towel. I'm going to wipe off the middle a little bit so it's not as sticky. Um, if I have it too thick right there, the little, um, the little gems might not take. Lots of glue. We'll move it down to the end here. The holes will probably not be visible there once we get this dipped. Um, I'm not adding glue. I'm just kind of spreading it with the tip. You can see that the hold still. Okay. So dip it in. Just like that. Pat it down. Fold it up. Tap it off a little bit so the excess will go back in. And that's what it looks like, all cute and fuzzy. Kind of like a snowflake. So that's what that looks like there. And I'm just thinking now, I think I want to dip a little bit more. I'm going to try dipping the ends in, see how that works. Maybe around the edges a little. So it's kind of thick in the middle and then on the edges. Just use the tip of the glue to draw a line on the edges and then just fill it in. See, it's okay if it goes off to the side, we can wipe that. Fill that in. There's a little bit of glue sticking out. I just saw some on there that I didn't catch. It'll just fill right in with this, um, with the, the uh, Sparkly stuff. I guess uh, you could call it glitter because it glitter is made of plastic Snow, I think it they might call it snow if you buy it. Um, I'll look at the package here in just a second I've Had it for a while too That is Snow flurries white and iris iridescent flake blend I must have got it at a craft store one time or possibly a garage sale. You could use regular glitter too. Just put a bunch in a, a tray like this. And then when you're done, you dump it right back in. Into your container. Right, I think I got all of it. Sure. All right, well, what um, the sides? That one got off a little. This one did. This one needs a little extra on the side here. Okay, looks good to me. Um, make sure it's all over the end. That's pretty thick, that one. Still dripping off the edge. <laughs> That's okay. It is art. It's gonna end up being what it is, huh? There, I think it looks pretty good. There we go, going in. Make sure all the tips touch 
So if you're using just regular glitter, you could kind of hang this off the table, um, cut off one side and have it sitting in the tray on this side and then just go a little bit at a time like this. And then when you're done, you'll be able to just dump it right back in, curl up your plate, dump it right back into your container. All right, we'll tap this off. Oh, that's pretty cute. So, there. I'm going to use hot glue to glue the middle on. Just turn it over and put a little circle around right in the middle. Like that. And I did this by making it offset. So one way you can do this is make sure there's a line that goes through an empty space on each side. And that's about it. I think that what took me the longest time to do was actually painting these. Um, and pulling the glue off, scraping the glue off of the, the um, insides. So, like this right here. You got to do it when it's still a little wet, because right now it's really hard to do. And if I keep messing with this one, it's so little that it's going to kind of fall apart. Um, the big ones are a little more forgiving. So like this stuff, you can just kind of pick it off. Set it down though, so that when you're moving it around, you have uh, a flat surface and then you can just kind of push it off and pick at it if you really want to. Or you can do the, my method of covering it up and then there's a little bit there. Take something shiny, cover that up. So that's a cute all star there. Um, we'll put these guys on. I did do one at a time because the glue seems to dry quick when I don't want it to. So I just put a little dab right there. Push it down. These are easiest to pick up with the soft part of your finger, not really up here. For some reason, it's, it's I think it's a little stickier right there. So I'll get that another dot kind of close to that one. There. Oh. I'll pick that off later if it's going to bug me, but maybe this guy. I just need a little bit. If it spreads around, that's okay. Excuse my reach. I'm going to wipe this off a little. Try to keep your your tools clean and they'll last a long time. I kind of waited on that but still wet. We made it in time there. Sometimes you get a little bit of an overflow and a little bit of a mess. Got my brush. off to the side. It might not want to. <laughs> there. And then you can finish this off with a little bit of, um, what do they call this? Uh, silver string. Sure. And I want to make it long enough to go in this hole and up to about here so that's about about eight inches and cut that off remember this is still wet on me so 
got to be careful. Just thread it through. Bring the ends together. And tie it in a knot. These would be cute if you did a whole bunch of them and hang them on a wall or string them together for a garland, um, put them outside. This might need to be a little longer, so I'd suggest maybe 10 inches, but this isn't bad. So there's the snowflake. There's the one that I'll finish later or uh, somebody in my family wanted to try this, so I'll probably save that for her to finish too. And then, so there's that, that. I did this one earlier. So it's a poinsettia and it has three layers. This was uh, this size, not the longest. You could use the longest. So it was this size, then it was this size the two inch, so like three inch, two inch, and then one inch. These were already dyed red too. And then I just glued a bunch more little sequins on top. Um, I had some green little guys, the little one inch ones. Um, I made those and then I turned them into leaves. So you could make that one just as easy as these. Um, like this one, you might wanna add a little bit of snow onto it. That might look kind of cute. Sometimes we get poinsettias that have snowflakes or they have glitter sprayed on them. So you could paint a little glitter on here too. Um, you could just use a little glue, sprinkle your glitter on. Or if you have glitter glue, you could take that and use it with a paintbrush and paint that on. Um, just make sure that it's glue that's going to dry solid and not stay sticky. Okay, I've got one more little guy to make here. Try to keep these in view a little bit without dumping the plastic shreds there. So I had another piece over here and I thought that he looked cute like a snowman. So my plan was to get a couple Sharpies. Usually start with the nose first. So this is gonna be his head. Um, we'll make a little carrot nose. And we usually do just a little triangle. Kinda like that. He's got a long nose. Look good too. This is a fine tip Sharpie, I think. Uh, one of the thicker tip Sharpies would do just fine too. I'm just making the circles and then filling them in. I think a regular Sharpie, you just fill the little dots. So he's going to be have a little wire here. I'm gonna give him a little scarf out of this yarn here. And then he needs some buttons. So I'll put little buttons on him. Yeah, regular Sharpie. Your, uh, I think it's a medium tip would be good for this. I might have one up here. Already. Oh, good. Okay, this is a little quicker. All right, so just put a dot and a dot and a dot. Make them a little bigger since I can now. There. Okay, so here's a little bit of string that I had. I have, again, I saved these things. Um, I've got friends that give these things to me too. Um, I kind of wanted to double up. I had it down here. I had matched them together earlier, so they kind of twisted together. And then see how big of a scarf it needs. Well, basically, I can just kind of tie it right now. And 
here says winter scarf or let's see I'm gonna make it kind of long I'll cut it down The other way you could do it is like this. Take the loop around the front of him, tuck the ends in into the loop. It's a little hard because it's pretty fuzzy. You could use that ribbon, uh, thick yarn string whatever you want but that would probably hold it on a little better so he's all bundled up now <laughs> and then he doesn't really need a hat you can do the the same thing with the string like I did here eight inch would probably be just fine with this little clothespin since it's uh, going the opposite way so this piece is actually that. So for this one, you need a longer piece of string to hang. This one, you'd need a shorter one because the distance is a lot shorter between his head and where you would hang it versus where the end of this is. I've had this hat here that I don't know if it's an actually a hat or not but um, I would guess that the end one of those washer uh, nuts or the, the washer or uh, sorry a nut cap could be used uh, from the hardware store and they're basically the same kind of shape they just cover up a nut um, that would be sticking out and it covers it up so that you can it kind of hides it but I might have even got this at the craft store I'm just going to glue it on. I'll glue the inside of the hat. I'll put the glue on the inside of the hat. That way when I put it on, it's going to match exactly to this hat and not be uh, trying to find a spot on the actual snowman or on the wood. So, glue, squeezing, and turning here. of a lot but I don't want the hat to come off later I'm gonna kind of cock it off to the side kinda like that so there's a the little snowman I'll let him sit for a minute uh, oh you know I forgot this I actually have some wire that would be kind of cute um, Let's see, we'll do probably about eight inches or so. So this is a little step further than the the actual um, string that we we're using to hang it. I'm looking for something like round here. I'm going to take this the wire and start twisting it around end of my paintbrush. Careful, it might be sharp. Uh, you can use another, like a pen or something to push that down. And just kind of wrap it around. Like that. So you've got the the wider end down here so it can just slide off. That might be pretty obvious, but... And slide that through here. A little more decoration. And then I'll wrap this around his neck a little. And it could actually get tucked in there so you don't really see it and then up like this 
and bend it. You could curl it again. pushing the two apart from each other so they both wrap around the end here and then I'm gonna just bend this a little bit more and I might play with this again. got some pliers all right, so you can actually even twist this tighter in so that it's not poking out. And you can flatten this out a little more. Try to get your, if you're using needle nose pliers, try not to get them with, ser with the serrated uh, bumpy on the inside so it doesn't mar your wire. But this can hang on a little tree branch like that or on a hook so there he is and another little decoration so I'll post the finished product of this one and the rest of them on the main screen a little bit later when everything gets posted. There it is. Okay, I hope you enjoy this project and let us know how you do. We'd like to see what you've um, accomplished. If you go ahead and try one of these with uh, three layers and some leaves, do let us know. Post your pictures, like this video, uh, Make sure, of course, that you like the Port Huron Recreation Department's Facebook page. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, and then also if there's any other projects that you might want to do in the upcoming months. All right. Have a good night.